How does it feel to be a suspect, Mankin? What? You're an obvious choice of suspect because you called the watch. You were the first on the scene. Round here, that means it's practically a closed case. I don't see why. You were there when I got there. I was unconscious. Well, I heard a commotion. That's what made me check it out in the first place. Maybe Mundy managed to knock you out before he died. While he was tied and blind? Perhaps he said a particularly offensive word and I fainted. Well, I happen to know that the watch consider you a suspect. Well, don't forget that I know something that they don't. That you're a liar and you can't be trusted. Just because you can't trust me doesn't mean no one can trust me. So how do you think having a murder in one of your rooms is going to affect business? Pull in the goth crowd, do you think? Shut up, Luton. I don't feel like engaging in small talk. Not with you, anyway. Does the word zeal mean anything to you? Leave me alone, Luton. I've been thinking hard about Mundy's death, and there's something that doesn't add up. Oh, enthrall me with your erudite wisdom, great one. When Mundy was killed, he was hanging from the ceiling, but when the watch turned up, he was on the ground. Maybe the killer cut him down when he was dead. I don't think so. I think that message was written by Mundy, and I don't think the killer saw him write it. Which means someone must have cut him down. Somebody who was in that room cut Mundy down. I don't think it was the killer, and I know it wasn't me. What are you getting at? You cut him down, didn't you? Why should I tell you? I've already told you. I don't think the killer would have cut him down. Which means if you cut him down, you're in the clear. All right, yeah, so I cut him down. Happy now? Why? Not everything has a reason, Luton. But people can usually find reasons for what they do. Well, draw your own conclusions. I was missing something, but I couldn't see what. You cut down Mundy so you could search him, didn't you? What are you suggesting? Nothing worse than the truth. You're a liar and a thief. All right, Luton. What is it you want? What have I got to do to get you to leave? Just give me what you found in Mundy's boot, and I'll leave you alone. Here. You want it? Have it. It's worthless anyway. What is it? How the hell should I know? Now, I kept my end of the bargain. You keep yours. Leave me alone. We'll see, Mankin. I figure I owe you at least one lie. Get out, Luton. In my own time, Mankin had given me a small coin. But it wasn't any type of coin I recognized. I guess I should be grateful to the half-elf for keeping the clue away from the watch. But frankly, I just didn't like the little weasel. <laughs> I guess I never really noticed that the Café Ankh had a wine cellar before. Perhaps if they'd run out of drinks at the bar, I'd have been more inclined to investigate. I knew full well that I wouldn't be able to get down there without permission and the right key. I see Sir has returned. Sir has? Who would Sir like to see? Is Carlotta home? Alas, no. What a shame that Sir's trip has been wasted. Perhaps Sir would like to leave now. Tell her I called by. Why, my loins stir at the very thought of serving you in this way, Sir. Is the Count receiving guests? No. But he will see you. Ah! Luton, I was hoping you would drop by. You don't sound so good, Count. I am not the man I used to be, that is certain. Past my prime, you might say. Yes, past my prime. 
I could come back later if you want. No. No, there is no guarantee that I will be getting any better. If anything, I might be worse. Your health? Hmm. We are both men of the world, Mr. Luton. I will not mince words with you. I am dying. I might last another year or so, or I might not last the week. And to think I thought Ankh more pork would be good for my health. Not too many people would believe you, certainly. Let us dispense with the pleasantries and get straight to business. Yes? Yes. Straight to business. I had a feeling that Mundy's coin was imp... Does the word Azil mean anything to you? Yes. Yes. I remember Azil. Azil. The mad Ascari of the Great Neth. He rose to power before even the light dams of Sorka were completed. I remember he used to punish his detractors by burying them upside down in the sand. Do you know, I think he honestly believed they might grow into trees. He was quite, quite mad, you know. Quite mad. How long ago was this? Oh, I don't know. A couple of hundred years ago, at least. You seem to remember it like yesterday. I am an old man. My memory plays tricks. Can you think of any reason that Mundy might have been hung upside down before he was killed? Mr. Luton, I couldn't be less... Does th I'm sorry. Do you know a big, dumb... Melek, there's a name I have. Yes. How? As it happens, he broke into this mansion several years ago and stole several valuable air... Incredibly, the City Watch was able to catch him before the Thieves Guild did, and he was in prison. For some reason, I decided not to tell the Count that I had a feeling the Troll could still be useful to me. Maybe as a rockery one day. What do you know about a dwarf named Al Kali? These days, the only people I know are those who come to the mansion. Do you know anything about the counterweight killings? Mr. Luton. Somehow, I wasn't surprised to find Al Kali waiting for me in my office. In my head was a list of suspects for killing Mundy, and Al Kali had gone straight in at number one. Mr. Luton, I am so pleased to see you. The feeling's not mutual, Al Kali. What do you want? All in good time, Mr. Luton. Why do I get a feeling that Al Kali isn't your real name? It's not very dwarfish. My name is of little consequence, Mr. Luton, and the story of how I acquired it will have to wait for another time. Now, if you'll excuse me... Now, why would you want to carry an axe? To hack at people, Mr. Luton. An axe is the weapon of choice for a dwarf, you should know that. Why kill me now? What's the point? I'm not planning to kill you, Mr. Luton. I merely need the axe as a deterrent should you wish to try something foolish. I don't try foolish things. Sometimes they just happen. Then I suggest you don't let them happen now. When you've finished searching me, I know a nice restaurant we can go to. 
So, you have been a busy man, Mr. Lewton. I think you'd better come with me. Is there an alternative? That would depend on how attached you are to your arms and legs, and how much you want them to remain attached to you. I didn't know where Al Kali was taking me, but I was now sure he wasn't going to kill me. He could have done that in my office, and it would have been days before anyone found the body. No, he wanted me for something. I just didn't know what. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting to be taken to see a troll. I've seen some unusual things in my life, but a troll and a dwarf working together? <sighs> that was something else. Ankh Morpork wasn't hot at that time of year. But the big troll was sitting back in a wicker chair, being fanned. Smart. Out of the cold of the mountains, overheating of their silicon brains was the reason for the trademark stupidity of the trolls. I'd have to watch my step with this one. Al Kali had a brief, whispered conversation with the troll, but I couldn't make out what was said. At one point, I thought I heard Al Kali mention a coin from Sorta, but the rest was a mystery. Mr. Luton. So glad you could come and join us, and so punctually, too. Yes, I know you were escorted by Mr. Alcali here, but the fact that you arrived on time shows that you didn't put up any show of resistance, which means you're intelligent enough to realize that we are not your enemies. And since we are not enemies, there is always the possibility that we might be friends. You are a quiet man? No, I like to talk, but I like to dance, too. And the trick in both is knowing when to lead and when to follow. Excellent, sir. Excellent. I distrust a quiet man. He generally picks the wrong time to talk and says the wrong things. A talking is something you cannot do judiciously unless you keep in practice. I'll tell you right out. I'm a troll who likes talking to people who like to talk. What shall we talk about? What indeed do friends talk about? Most friendships don't start out with one of the friends being led around by an axe-wielding dwarf. While we're at it, most people know the names of their friends. Of course, how impolite of me. Mr. Alcali, I believe you already know. And my name is Jasper Horst. Perhaps you've heard of me. I have a bad memory for names. It gets me into a lot of trouble. You have a bad attitude as well. That also gets you into trouble. Now, now, Mr. Alcali. It doesn't do to slander a guest, especially one whom you hope to count among your friends. So, if we're friends, I guess Al Kali's warning about staying off the Mundy case was just a friendly warning. Ah, straight to the point. I do admire a man who avoids skirting the issues. Such a man makes an excellent politician, but is almost impossible to trust. Well, sir, it seems you are now in the possession of something that we would like. And what might that be? Uh, come now, sir. There's no need to play coy. We know you were the last person Mundy saw, and we know you have the coin from Sorter. Uh, frankly, sir, we know you have the golden sword, and we wish to make an offer for it. What if I told you it wasn't for sale? Uh, don't be tedious, Mr. Luton. We obviously know that you are in the employ of Carlotta. Hence, we know that you have a price. Whatever she is offering you, we can safely offer double. And unlike Carlotta, I am a troll of my word. What if she's offering me something that you can't match? You don't strike me as a man who would fall for Carlotta's moves, sir. You struck me as a man with better judgment than that. Are you loyal to Carlotta? I am loyal to one person and one person alone. Me. That's wonderful. I do like a man who isn't afraid to tell you that he is looking after himself. We're all looking after ourselves. Indeed, sir. Indeed. And I don't trust a man who says he's not. Trust seems very important to you, Horst. Indeed. Without trust, we are no better than barbarians. It is the capacity for trust that sets the humans, trolls, dwarfs, and such above the lesser animals. That and our capacity for cruelty. What a dark outlook you have, sir. Are you a pessimist? Pessimism is a term used by optimists to attempt to discredit those who see the world as it really is. You are a man of the world, sir. I like that about you. Tell me about the Golden Sword, Horst. Carlotta didn't tell you what it was? Horst seemed to think I knew things that I didn't, and that could give me the advantage. I decided it was time for a good bluff. She told me, but I took it for granted she was lying. A not injudicious thing to do. 
Let's cut to the chase. How much will you pay me for the sword? Suffice it to say, I will pay you its value. That doesn't give me much to go on. You will appreciate, sir, that a golden sword like that is a difficult artifact to sell. Indeed, you would draw a lot of attention. Were you to attempt to do so, I will offer you what the sword is worth, and that, I can assure you, is more than Carlotta is offering you. I could use a figure. I don't like to commit myself to fixed fees. Those who set exact price tags leave themselves no room to negotiate when the circumstances change. Rest assured that it will exceed $10,000 at the least. 10000 eh? I'll think about it. Does the word Azeal mean anything to you? The concern. Let it... What do you know about the circumstances of Mundy's murder? A strange question, sir. But you have your reasons, I'm sure. I must say I was impressed. That disguising the murder as a counterweight killing was clever. But knocking yourself out after the murder was a masterstroke. A gamble, certainly. But the greater the risk, the greater the reward. Do you know a troll by the name of Malachite? I cannot say I have made their acquaintance. Do you know a woman? I cannot say I... Can you tell me anything about the counterweight killings? I had assumed you would know more than I, sir. I know only what I've heard. That there is a spy from the counterweight continent in Ankh-Morpork. And that he is killing people in a manner that is both striking and extravagant. I'm trying to find out why a troll named Sapphire would lie to me. Any thoughts? The Comser, let us not. Do you know anything about Count von Uberwald? I trust you are not trying to confuse me, Mr. Luton. Does Al Kali work for you? Mr. Al Kali and I have a complicated working relationship. He and I have been associates for some time. What exactly is your connection with Carlotta? She didn't mention me to you? I'm not surprised. Carlotta is a model for deception. Never tell the truth when a lie will do. As for her connection with me, she and I are associates. That doesn't tell me much. Alas, sir, you are right. But what it tells, it tells accurately. And that should make up for the deficit of information conveyed. So Carlotta's an associate, and Alcali's an associate. You still haven't told me what you mean by associate, though. Let's just say that the three of us share a common goal. Well, it's been nice talking to you, Horst. But I have other things to do. I trust you will keep in touch, sir. I look forward to hearing your decision. You're letting him go? Uh, come now, Mr. Alcali. Mr. Luton is our friend and associate. He is free to come and go as he pleases. I'll let you know what I decide, Horst. Uh, but of course, goodbye, Mr. Luton. For now. I was starting to piece together what was going on. Whatever this sword was, it was clear that Mundy brought it into town with him on the Milka. I guess he was the courier. For who, wasn't clear. He must have hidden it in one of the crates on the Milka, and then broken into the warehouse to recover it. Only the watchman stopped him before he could retrieve it. None of which told me where the sword was. Or even what the sword was. One thing was clear. I needed to talk to Carlotta. I see Sir has returned. Sir has? Who would Sir like to see? Is Carlotta home? Alas. What?
perhaps I would like to leave. Tell her I call. Why my loins... There was something about the way the other members of the watch looked at me that let me know that no matter how innocent I was, I was still stained with suspicion. Still, I'll take the stains of suspicion over the tarnish of guilt. Suspicion was easier to wash out. Sometimes I think I'd just give up and crawl inside a whiskey bottle. Except that you can only do that if you are less than one inch high. Doesn't look like I'm too welcome around here. Of course, I haven't been welcome here since I got kicked off the force, but at least then they just thought I was corrupt. Now they think I'm a murderer. Nah, Luton, you, you've got it all wrong. They don't think you're a murderer, they think... Um, that my personal hygiene is appalling? Uh, no. That I have the Clutchian plague? No. Uh, Face it, they think I'm a murderer. You know, g give me a minute, I'll think of something. Nobby, you've never thought of something printable in your entire life. Why should you start now? What if I told you that I was working on a case that could make us both rich? What if I told you I had a lead on a golden sword of untold value? What would you say to me? I'd say you're having me on. Come on, Luton. What do you take me for? Still, untold value, eh? Is that a lot? I mean, my vest has got untold value, too. Interested? Nah, it's gotta be a wind-up. Golden swords. You must think I was born yesterday. Oh, you were born, were you? I always thought you were hatched out by the sun, Nobby. Do you know anything about the Milka's cargo? Give me a break, Luton, I don't... Tell me more about these counterweight killings. I'm not really sure I should, Luton. Sorry. Come on, Nobby. You can trust me. Well... No. Look, Luton, I can't tell you. Why not? Shouldn't I know? It's not to be discussed with anyone who's not part of the case. Ah, I see. Well, that makes sense. Obviously, you wouldn't want people not involved with the case learning about it. Exactly. And I'm the prime suspect in that case, right? Well, you're the prime suspect in the Monday case. But the prime suspect in the counterweight killings is that foreign spy who's been killing all the prominent people. Like that bloke up at Unseen University and that fellow in the Patrician's Palace. Right. Well, I won't ask any more questions then, seeing as how I shouldn't. Thank you, Luton. I appreciate it. I'm trying to find any thought. Can't help you with that. Have you heard of a troll called Horst, Nobby? Oh yeah, he's a, he's a treasure hunter, he is. How come you've heard of him? Well, Voim's always asked us to keep an eye on him when he's in town. Is he a lawbreaker then? Well, he's careful never to get caught doing anything against the law. Bit like you then? Yeah, a bit like... No! Now you hang on a minute. I am completely law-abiding. Yes. You're as innocent as the next man in Ankh Morpork. Exactly. Uh, um, well, if I can pick the next man anyway. I take it I'm still the prime suspect for Mundy's murder. Afraid so, Luton. I take it you realize that Mundy was hung upside down from the rafters? W well yes, of course. Yes. Hung upside down. Yeah. I can't believe that the person doing the most work on this case is also the prime suspect. <laughs> 
does the word Azeel mean anything to you? No. I had a feeling that Mundy's... I'm back. Let... Does 3712V mean anything to you? That's not... Do you know a troll but... Sorry, it's, uh... I didn't want to discuss. This was clearly something that. Do you know anything about the Milka's cargo? Just one thing that the cargo of the Milka is confidential and I won't discuss it with you. Come to persecute me some more, Luton? A man's gotta have a hobby. Do you know a troll by the name of Jasper Horst? I know a lot of people. That doesn't mean I want to talk about them with you. I need to speak with Sapphire. Try and imagine how much I care. Look, is she here or not? She's in her dressing room. It's really impolite to walk into a room without knocking. But who knows what you miss out on when you take the time to knock. Sapphire had a pile of money in her room, and I was glad I hadn't given her an opportunity to hide it. Luton, you startled me. Didn't Mother tell you not to walk into rooms unannounced? Mother told me to walk into rooms with a crossbow. She was a sensible woman. What you want? That's quite a lot of money you've got. What? Oh, yeah. Money, yeah. Where'd you get it, Sapphire? Oh, that. Well, see, I won it. Won it? Yes, at Casino. Which one? Saturnalia. Sapphire go there often. Really? Is it a good casino? Oh yeah. Good as casino get. You should go, Luton. Maybe I will. So... You won this money at the races. No, not at races. At casino. Oh, yeah, that's right. At the casino. You lied to me, Sapphire. Strung me along with that Madame Lodestone story. What? No. Sapphire told truth. 
The troll in Madame Lodestone's grave wasn't Therma. How you tell? Malachite told me. You trust him? He's too stupid to lie. And you're too smart not to. Sapphire not smart. Big dumb troll. Like all the other trolls. Don't play games, Sapphire. I know you're smarter than the average troll. Although I could say the same about some mushrooms. Look, Sapphire don't know why someone would switch bodies. Sapphire just trying to help. She was lying to me. I could feel it. She was obviously hiding something, but it was apparent I needed to know more if I was going to worm it out of her. You heard of the counterweight killings? Yeah. What do you know about them? Sapphire know they called counterweight killing. Sapphire know people kill. That all Sapphire know. Do you know a troll called Jasper Horst? Horst? You not involved with Horst, are you, Luton? You in trouble if you are. You know him, then? No. Sapphire not no Horst. And Sapphire keep it that way. How does it feel to be working underneath where Mundy was horrifically murdered? People die, honey. It happens. Do you know anything about Mundy's death? Sapphire know that you prime suspect. Uh, word travels fast, doesn't it? Small town, Luton. It's not so small. Anyway, gossip spreads faster the more people there are to hear it. It's funny that way. So, how have things been? Things way they always been. Slow. Dull. But you've kept yourself amused, haven't you? Don't know what you mean. Come to persecute me some... A man's got a... Where did Sapphire get all that money from? Ha, ha, ha. You never give up, dear. That's considered an asset in my line of work. Just leave me alone, Luton. I'm sick of the sight of you. I'm sick of talking to you. And I am sick of all your damn questions. Look, you know I'm not gonna give up. Why not just pretend you've held out for a commendable length of time and finally cracked? It could be our little secret. Luton, if anyone starts saving up to get an assassin for you, let me know, will you? That's one cause I'd gladly give generously to. In the meantime, what about Sapphire's money? I didn't even know she had any money. She claims to have won it over at the casino. At Saturnalia? You've got to be kidding. If Sapphire had a big win, the whole town would know about it by now. No, I'd be prepared to bet it has something to do with whoever she met when she missed her shift. Who did she meet? I've no idea. All I know is she missed her shift because she had to meet someone. Thanks for your help. Oh, it's always a pleasure, Luton. I've got some more questions. Leave her. I hear you had a mysterious meeting not too long ago. Not long after, you turn up with a lot of money. Sounds like an awfully big coincidence to me. Stop harassing Sapphire. Already told Luton. Won the money at Saturnalia. Right. 